So next topic is pre envelope and complex envelope. So this is nothing but a mathematical representation of a bandpass signal. So let's consider a real value signal x of t. Now we are considering consider a real value signal x of t then pre envelope for positive frequency for positive frequency is given by x plus t equal to x of t plus j x cap of t. So, if there is a real value signal x of t, then this real value signal can have a pre envelope and this pre envelope is defined for positive frequency and negative frequency separately. So, first of all we are defining it for positive frequency. Here we are defining it for positive frequency. So, the pos for positive frequency pre envelope of this real value signal x of t is defined by x plus here the plus sign denotes the pre envelope for positive frequency and this is equal to the x of t plus j x cap t where the x of t is this real value signal itself and x cap t we know it is nothing but Hilbert transform of x of t. Now taking the Fourier transform because we are defining for frequency so uh, we have to convert this pre envelope into frequency domain then taking Fourier transform we get x plus of f equal to x of f plus j Fourier transform of Hilbert transform. So, Fourier transform of Hilbert transform is x of f multiplied with minus j signum f. We know that to calculate Hilbert transform in frequency domain, we have to multiply the positive frequency by minus j and negative frequency by plus j. It means that it is equivalent to multiplying the spectrum of the signal by minus j signum f. So, I am multiplying the signal x of f with minus j signum f. It means we are calculating the Fourier transform of Hilbert transform. Now, if I solve this, this minus will come here and j square is also minus 1. So, this will be plus. So, we get x of f plus x of f signum f. So, this is the pre envelope for positive frequency in frequency domain. Now, we can also calculate its value because we know the definition of signum function and this signum function is defined as signum f can be defined as this is for f greater than 0 it is 1 and for f le less than 0 it is minus 1. This is the definition of signum f. So, the value of x plus f would be for positive frequency that means for f greater than 0. For f greater than 0 this is plus 1. So, this is plus 1 then x of f plus x of f will be twice of x of f. So, this is twice of x of f for positive frequency. For f equal to 0, for f equal to 0, the signum function is defined as 0. So, this is x of f only and for f less than 0, for f less than 0, it is signum f is minus 1. So, this value is minus 1. So, x of f minus x of f will be 0. So, this will be 0. So, this is the pre envelope of signal x of t in frequency domain and after taking the inverse Fourier transform, we can get the value of this pre envelope in time domain. So, 
you can also calculate its inverse Fourier transform. Now, taking inverse Fourier transform, this x plus t can be written as two times of integration from zero to infinite x of f taking the inverse Fourier transform. So, e to the power j 2 pi f t d f. So, this is the inverse Fourier transform we get in time domain. So, this is for positive frequency. Similarly, we can define for negative frequency pre envelope for a negative frequency. can be written as x minus this is for uh, negative frequency x minus t equal to x of t minus of j x cap t. Now, again taking the Fourier transform we get x minus of f equal to x of f minus of j this is x of f multiplied with minus j signum f. Same uh, we have to take the Fourier transform of Hilbert transform and for that we will multiply it by minus j signum f A spectrum of x of t is multiplied with minus j signum f again this is minus minus become plus and because of this j square it is minus. So, this is minus x of a f, f signum f and by the definition of this signum f we can have again three values that is x minus of f equal to for f greater than 0 for f greater than 0 this signum f is plus 1 and when it is plus 1 this x of f minus x of f will be 0 and for f equal to 0 this signum f is 0. So, it will be equal to x of f and when f is less than 0 that is for negative frequency and for the negative frequency the signum is minus 1 and when it is minus 1 this minus minus become plus and x of f plus x of f is twice of x of f this is for f less than 0. So, this is the uh, pre envelope of x of t in frequency domain for negative frequency again if we take the inverse Fourier transform like this then we will get the negative uh, pre envelope uh, negative pre envelope that means pre envelope for negative frequency. So, this is all about the pre envelope next we can define complex envelope. Complex envelope it is nothing but a representation of a band pass signal in the form of envelope and any band pass signal can be represented by now any band pass signal that is modulated signal especially is a band pass signal. So, any band pass signal can be represented by let us say the band pass signal is S of t this is a band pass signal. and this band pass signal is represented by s i of t cos omega naught t or you can also use omega c t because uh, in case of modulation the center frequency is carrier frequency. So, this can be omega c also in case of carrier whenever we use carrier then it will be omega c here I am writing omega naught that is nothing but center frequency and in case of modulation or amplitude modulation the center frequency is nothing but the carrier frequency. So, that is why here it can be omega naught or omega c and s q of t equal to sin omega naught t. So, this is called in phase component this is called in phase component coefficient of cosine is called in phase component 
एंड कोफिशियंट ऑफ साइन इज कॉल्ड क्वाड्रेचर कॉम्पोनेंट और आउट ऑफ फेज कॉम्पोनेंट क्वाड्रेचर कॉम्पोनेंट एंड दिस ओमेगा नॉट इज कैरियर और रेफरेंस फ्रिक्वेंसी रेफरेंस फ्रिक्वेंसी और कैरियर फ्रिक्वेंसी और सेंटर फ्रिक्वेंसी एनी वर्ड कैन बी यूज फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर फ्रिक्वेंसी omega naught or omega c any frequency which can be written in this form so if there is a band pass signal so that band pass signal is somehow will be defined in the form of this expression whenever there is a band pass signal it can be represented in this form there might be some manipulation but it will be converted into this form and once this band pass signal is converted into this form you can write the complex envelope easily and the complex envelope is complex envelope of s of t is s c e of t this is equal to s i of t plus j s q of this is the complex envelope this is one method this is one method that you can define complex envelope whenever a band pass signal is given to you you can represent in this form and once you represent in this form then the coefficient of cosine will be in phase component coefficient of sine will be uh, quadrature component and remember that there should be a minus sign always there should be always a minus sign if it is plus then you have to take minus of sqt in this expression if it is plus then you have to make it minus and for that you will take minus common and this component will become negative and then in that case you have to take the coefficient negative okay so once you get this value coefficient uh, coefficient of in phase component or in phase component and quadrature component you can write in Uh, complex form and that is nothing but the complex envelope this is one method there is another method also and the second method is any band pass signal can be represented by can be represented in terms of complex envelope that is s of t equal to real part of s c e of t e to the power j omega not t if there is a band pass signal then you can represent in the form of complex envelope for this you have to just calculate the real part of s c e of t which is the complex envelope of s of t in e to the power j omega not t so that is nothing but the reference frequency and carrier frequency or center frequency and the coefficient of this exponential term is complex envelope here this is nothing but the complex envelope so there are two methods to calculate complex envelope the complex envelope uh, question based on it has been asked in previous year gate exam so it is important and we will solve uh, questions from it and we will solve those questions uh, in these two methods and we will see that how we represent the complex envelope for any band pass signal